What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. This is episode 5 of my Kingdom Hearts Mods Showcase. Real quick, I just wanted to address this since it's been about a week since my last video. I think moving forward I'm going to be recording and releasing videos over the weekend, but I'll be doing them in bulk so you'll get like two or three videos Saturday, Sunday. I'm still trying to figure this out so that might still change, but I just want to let you guys know since it's been about six days and these Kingdom Hearts videos are doing better than most of my other videos so I just want to let you guys know but anyway today we're going to be looking at some Keyblade skins for Keyblades in the game to keep these Keyblade videos short and relatively easy to follow because there's an absurd amount of Keyblade mods out already I'm going to do 10 per video so on this one I'm just going to show off the ones that I currently have available to equip at once so let's check them out first three we have on the menu Kingdom Key Elemental Encoder and Crystal Snow. The Kingdom Key and the Elemental Encoder are the most common Keyblades to get skins for mods so far because they are two that the transformation is unaffected by, which is another reason that I'm going to keep these relatively short. This first video is going to show you 10 Keyblades that you can have at once, so like 10 out of them to equip at any time rather than showing you 10 different ones for the Kingdom Key specifically, so that you can just put them all in at once and go go nuts. So this first mod for the Kingdom Key, we got yeah. Aqua's Rainfell. And all of these will show up in cutscenes that you have the Keyblade in. I can't speak again, yeah. as usual. Yeah. Looks pretty nice. I won't play with them too much, I just want to show you guys what they look like in the game then if you guys get the mods yourself and download them. You can see what they look like in game for yourselves and have fun with it. So we got Aqua's Rainfell. We got Terrace Ends of the Earth over the Elemental Encoder. This is one of my favorite ones. I think this looks badass. I've been using this in most of the cutscenes. And then we have Kingdom Hearts 1's Diamond Dust over the Frozen Keyblade, which name is escaping me even though I just said it. All three of these look really nice. Did it just disappear and stay in my hand? Did I see that right? That was weird, it sure did for a second. Huh, anyway. The other Keyblades that are getting more uh, modded skins than other ones are the Ultima Weapon, Oathkeeper, and Oblivion, and Starlight, actually. The Keyblades that don't have proper transformations that stay themselves, because they're the easiest ones to make skins for. You don't have to change anything else. So now let's take a look at Starlight. On that note, we'll look at those. Starlight, Oathkeeper, and Oblivion. Which one we have first? Oblivion! I have it set to Riku's Way to Dawn. And yes, there are mods for Braveheart and Soul Eater. I just happen to like Way to Dawn a lot. Uh, let's go backwards to Oathkeeper. I changed it to Kyrie's Destiny's Embrace. The reason I changed it to Riku and Kairi's for Oblivion and Oathkeeper beyond just the regular symbolism is that when you go into double form and you hold both Oathkeeper and Oblivion, having their Keyblades at once looks hella nice. And then over Starlight, we have Young Xehanort's Keyblade. This one also looks really nice and it's really big. <laughs> I really want to use this Keyblade in the Toy Story cutscene at the end of the world when you uh, go to hold him back Keyblade against Keyblade. Really want to see what that looks like. We have four more. I'm going to show off the Ultima Weapon first, and then the other three, because the other three are a little different. I have the Ultima turning into the Azura Sword. I love this one. That first swipe with it, too, when you do that ability that hits the ground that I can't remember its name. I am not doing good remembering things today. It just looks so nice. Alright, these last three, their transformations are also modded. These are very exciting, and these are the ones I use most often now. We're going to use Shooting Star, Favorite Deputy, and the Wheel of Fate. Shooting Star is what we're starting with. We have Marluxia Scythe. I love this so much. Marley's my favorite organization member, and this is just so satisfying for me. Let's find some Heartless and show what its transformation looks like. I... Heartless, hello? Are there no Heartless on the street? Really? <laughs> okay. All by myself. I wanna be all by myself. There we go. That took way too long. Alright. Marluxia Scythe, transformation to double arrow guns, turns into. 
Zingbar's guns. And it looks really nice as well. There's a, there's a very, very small part of me that wishes he held them properly, but honestly, it doesn't bother me at all. I just want to know what that would look like. And then the magic launcher turns into Yozora's gun. The finisher looks a little wonky, but <laughs> still pretty satisfying. All right, after that, we go to favorite deputy turns into Axel's... I believe it's called the Flame Liberator? I might be wrong about that, but we have Axel's new Keyblade. It looks pretty damn nice, and it does have that, like, flame effect going up it. And this turns in to my favorite transformation, Saix's Claymore. And it does an absurd damage. I don't know if that's just in my head. It feels like it does crazy damage. And I love the effects. Just putting this on Hyper Hammer was genius. With those, the ground smashing. It just looks so badass. Drill Punch is still Drill Punch. They didn't have a transformation for that, but to be fair, I don't know what they would change that into. So then we go to the Wheel of Fate. And this one was really clever. This one is Noctis's Royal Arms from Final Fantasy XV. I don't remember the names of his weapons, but this is what they are. First we have his sword. We go to High Wind. This is again over the Wheel of Fate for the Pirates of the Caribbean Keyblade. I don't know if I mentioned that. First transformation, High Wind turns it into his lance. It's like Oracle of the Sea? Is that what its name was? Maybe I do know them. We lost all our Heartless. I have to go on a hunt for a fight again? I feel like Oogie Boogie in Kingdom Hearts 1 right now. Oh, Heartless! There we go. I really like the Lance. And then Storm Flag turns into one that I just... I remember it from the game, but I have no idea what it is or what it was called. It's this thing. <laughs> if you play Final Fantasy XV and you remember what that's called, let me know. Alright, we showed off what this one looks like a little bit. More than the other ones, but that's okay. You're an ingredient, Goofy. I'm really happy they put in a weapon that's not from Kingdom Hearts. And uh, I believe there actually is one other mod on Nexus right now for a non-Keyblade weapon. I uh, For the Excalibur sword from Stay Night, I think. You can check that out too if you want to. But these are my favorites so far there's a lot more like i mentioned uh like you can get master's defender you can get the gazing eye there's a ton you can get i'll do more keyblade skin variant videos like this one moving forward i'm gonna try to save them for when you can do 10 at a time kind of like this one with across different keyblades so that way you can play with a bunch at once rather than having to swap one to one to one to one to one across the kingdom key or the elemental encoder or the ultimate or whatever some of these keyblades also had custom trails i know the yuzora and the noctis weapons definitely did so those will also be linked in the description of course with all the links to how to get to all these mods and the creators and all that good stuff yeah the next video or next couple of videos i should say there's a few things I want to cover. Uh, I have a lot of modifications that I did to Twilight Town, so we're going to do a Twilight Town specific episode. I'm going to show you some alternate skins for Sora, because we have a few other characters that we can play as now. And then there's a few other things that I'll keep under wraps for now. Those are the next two videos I plan on putting out, so there's your tease for what to look forward to over the weekend. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. We just broke 200 subscribers. Uh, we just broke 200 subscribers, which I'm super happy about, because this channel is not that old. I'm feeling really good, so thank you guys. If you are here also for these Kingdom Hearts videos, uh, something else I'll say is we have a Discord that I link after every video in the description. Y'all are more than welcome to join. It started as a server for my Twitch channel, which it still primarily functions as, but we have a lot more people in there now that are there for things beyond just that. We have I'm trying to build up our, a Kingdom Hearts community and a Pokemon community, so y'all are more than welcome to join it. We've been getting some new people lately, and it, it feels good. I suppose I should say, subscribe to the channel if you're new. So if you like the video, you can do that too. <laughs>
professional at work. <laughs> I'll catch you guys in the next video again. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.